Hey everyone, back again with more fan testing, going through my uh, huge pile of fans that I brought back from Fanimation and I'm getting through them. This, uh, this one, of course, everyone knows on the fan groups, we all, all fan collectors know, another r &M Hunter original. And I believe this is the 1.25 amp one. It's basically the one amp version. No reverse air, but it does reverse. No reverse or adapt air blades. But of course I got this Hunter original on the last group trip from uh, Lewis Weedman. So, and this one does, however, got some paint coming off like the switch cap. I'm gonna repaint this. And then there's some rust over there. But other than that, it works beautifully. I just wanted to show it off, but... Uh, but yeah, there we go. Here we go. All right. Here is low. I definitely, of course, put oil in it right away. Anytime I first run an original, I make sure it has oil in the bearings. Point two nine amps. Hunter Originals have a very nice low. And of course, the one thing we love about these, made completely cast iron. Mo everything in the motor, except the windings, everything else, or the stator. But the whole motor housing is cast iron. So it's a heavy, super duty fan. It's definitely a very good fan. Okay, let's do watts, 30 watts or 31 watts with a power factor. We'll call it a power factor of one. Man, it's got a nice low. I love it. All right. Here's medium. So 0.59 amps. And uh, 64 or 65 watts. Power factor of one. And here comes high. Beautiful. Huh, 0.93 amps. Let's see if I can read what it says on there. I knocked the Synlix, or actually it was my... I think there's a... I don't see it on there anywhere. I'll see what it's actually rated at. When I'm ready to, but... In the meantime, 0.93 amps is what it's drawing. 103 watts, power factor of one. <coughs> and I know what these Hunter Originals do, airflow wise, so I'm just gonna go right for spin down. I gotta use the ladder though to uh, reverse it. Well, definitely bearings aren't stiff if it's got this long of a spin down. Okay, let's just see if I can see anything. Let's 
see anything else anywhere else. Let me just look real quick. See if there's anything on top. Okay. Well, it's 1.1 amps, so basically I'm getting a little bit under an amp, but that's okay. It's close. It's rated at 1.1 amps, so here is reverse low. Okay. All right, to reverse medium, pretty much the same current draw, and reverse high. Yep, same current draw. All right, well, here is a decade box. One, two, oh, it started on two. Three, four, five, And I'm in the past Hunter Originals, I remember some of these, like this one, like my white one on the shelf. I would need an 81220 to run it. This is six, seven, eight. Okay, so right now I'm getting a perfect low at eight. So I'm guessing this is also going to need an 8-12-20 for wall control. 9, 10, 11, 12. Right here is a nice medium low. This is a perfect medium low. 13, 14. Right now this is like at... 15, 16, 17, right here is factory medium, 18, 19, and here is 20. Okay. Well, since I know there's going to be a huge difference, I'm just going to keep going up. 22, 25, and here's 30. Thirty-three, thirty-five. dollars I'm just going to max it out. And I'm still under, still under by a little bit there. So no resonant frequency on this fan either. And it's, and I'm safe with any wall control, but in order to get reasonable speeds, I would need an 8-12-20. Just to have, you know, a wider speed range and a low that's fast enough to be functional. All right, now let's do the uh, solid state variable speed. Let's see how this one works on that. 
Oh, wow. Very quiet. That's another option. 8, 12, 20 or solid state. I can't even hear anything at all. Nothing. This is like bedroom quiet on a solid state. A lot of these Hunter Originals are good for that. Up a little more. Okay. All right, brought it to high. All right, 0.89, so a little bit under, but not bad. Definitely usable with a solid state. All right, now the final test of zero to high. So, okay, a little bit of an inrush, but not much. Okay. All right. Well, that is actually all I have. For this uh, Brown Hunter original r &M. So I got more fans to test and I'll be back with some more. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.